All right, so this is Sharif Marakbi. He is the chief engineer for hybrid designs at Ford, and he is part of the thousand miles on one tank of gas with fusion, which we've exceeded late earlier today, and I think we're rapidly approaching 1,100 uh, That's miles. Right. That's right. And uh, Sharif, you and I went out on a loop that uh, you guys are doing for this, and it was a nice little drive through the parkway. Yeah, it's, it's really a very nice drive. I mean, it's, uh, the speed limit is 45 miles an hour, so it's, you, know, you stay at a moderate speed, so we stay a little bit below that. Uh, not a lot of stop signs or tra you know, there's a little bit of traffic on and off. Uh, but it's, you know, it's about 24 mile uh, round trip. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it goes uh, there's uphill and downhill, and you just have to kind of practice some of the tools that we have in terms of, you know, accelerate mildly. Uh, don't try to break too much, uh, things like that, and it really works out. And one of the things we discussed on our on our loop was the difference that uh, the initial comparison might be to something like a Honda Inside or a Toyota Prius with this car, but actually the better comparison is the Toyota Camry because this is literally the same size and weight as a Camry. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty much the same uh, class. It's a mid-sized sedan, it seats five, and. Uh, from an overall dimensions and size, it's it's pretty much right on. So compared to the Camry, it gets eight miles per gallon more. So that's that's uh, you know where hybrids really excel is fuel economy. So it's uh, it, it's clearly the number one uh, from a fuel economy standpoint in the market. The one thing I was impressed with, and I think you you explained a little bit to me, is the is the transition between electric and the uh, and the gas when it when it switches over. Um, talk about some of the uh, some of the effort that went through to make that a, a smooth transition. Yeah, we we spent a lot of time to target a couple of things. One is we wanted to be the best fuel economy midsize sedan in, in the country, and the other thing we did is made sure that the vehicle feels um, very quiet, and uh, any transitions in terms of NVH or vibration or noises, uh, we worked very hard to eliminate. So we worked very hard to make sure the engine, as the engine shuts off and it comes back on. There's no vibration that comes or any noise that comes into the driver uh, compartment. Uh, by doing that, we're able to get in and out of the engine uh, almost um, twice as many as our competitors, which enable better fuel economy because the minute, or actually the second that you can get the battery to provide the energy and not the engine, you shut down the engine. And then when vice versa, when you don't have enough, enough charge in the battery, it would switch back and the engine would come on and the customer doesn't feel any of that. Um. Working with Wayne and some of the other people, um, has it really expanded what you thought was possible with this car? Absolutely. I mean, honestly, I mean, it traded 41 miles per gallon in the city, which most people can easily beat that. I mean, that's, that's uh, it's, it's not very hard to get 41 miles per gallon in this car. Uh, however, uh, doubling that, which is what we're seeing, and we're, we're running at about 81 miles per gallon right now. Uh, we expected maybe we'll be in the 50s, maybe in the 60s, but just being uh, very conscious about what you're doing, uh, tra you know, transitioning, being, using some of these tools. Uh, it really, really uh, is an eye opener when you see what kind of fuel you can get. This is uh, obviously a big, big thing for you guys. What do we see coming down the road from Ford as far as hybrids? Maybe the next generation. Well, more hybrids. We got the next generation hybrids with lithium-ion batteries coming. Uh, we have battery electric cars, which use you know similar technology. Uh, the battery and the electric drive uh, technology that we've been working on for many, many years. And uh, with battery electric cars, we have a battery electric uh, commercial uh, van, if you will, it's a Transit Connect, coming out next year, and then we have a, 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 a small car, a focus size vehicle, that will also be battery electric in two years. So a lot is coming. So is the key going forward with the hybrids, the battery technology, smaller, lighter, but more powerful? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is really the key technology working on also trying to make it less you know, costly so that the customer can afford the technology. And the battery is, is the common theme between the, the hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and better electric vehicles. Well, great. Thank you for your time. Thank you.